they'd removed his testicles, they'd cut off his arms, and they'd opened his stomach to see what he was eating. And his wife had been with him when this to happened. To see what he was eating. To see what he was eating, because we're that foreign to them. They don't, they don't understand. And just like a fish, they're like, let's see what it was eating. And there's no laws out there. So they shot him in the leg. They started the battle cry. They started running out of the forest. And he knew he wasn't going to run fast enough to reach the river. So he told his wife, just run for it. She ran, jumped in the river, and just floated down the Amazon. He got ripped apart on the beach. And so when my guys showed up, they found him. There's blood all over the sand. And when they found his wife, she told them what happened. And so they just had to like pick up the pieces of him and go. And there was arrows all over the beach for nothing because they were curious because they're scared of outsiders. Really, they know it's a human. They know it's a human, but you can't really fault these people for this type of action either because they're coming from times where they were right. so persecuted. So you have to think that how has that mythology like intensified over the years where like, you know, grandparents telling their grandchildren, we remember 